All right, so welcome to the walkthrough of quiz one. This quiz is going to show you some of the cool functionality that we're going to learn this semester in the form of some pretty advanced formulas. We'll go into them in more depth as the semester goes along, but this is kind of an introductory quiz for you. So I've copied and pasted the steps from the quiz over here into the side so we can uh, easily refer to them. So these are the instructions out of the quiz. So type auto loan calculator in cell A1. So here in step one, it says type in cell A1, auto loan calculator, auto loan calculator. And what I'll just let you know up front, if you misspell it or do the capitalization in a way that it doesn't say, it will count it wrong. So it is picky. Calcu, see if I can spell it right, Lator. Then merge and cell, merge and center the title on the first row from A1 to F1. So highlight all, all of those cells by clicking and dragging across. Apply bold. Okay, it was already bold. 18 point font. Come up here, 18. There it is. Gold accent for darker 25% font color. What the heck is that? So come over here to fonts and find here, hold your mouse over it. Let's see, there's gold accent for darker, there's lighter 60, darker 25%. And there you go. Insert a function into cell C6 to display the current date. All right, where's C6? Current date. So equals today open and close parentheses hit enter all right number four use the format painter to copy the formatting from range a3 and c3 to the ranges a9 e3 e9 a14 all those all these little headers so copy those three and then do the format painter and copy there and then do the format painter and copy there and do the format painter copy there and guess what do the format painter and copy there all right that's it for step four moving on to step five apply the percent style with no decimal points to range b15 through b18 b15 through b18 Highlight the percent style with two decimal points. In cell E4, type APR based on credit rating. Min down payment required and sales tax here. Next step total down payment amount of the loan monthly payment, principal and interest, and monthly sales tax. All right, there's five, six, and seven. All right, in step eight, in cell F4, enter a lookup function to display the interest rate of the loan. The function should reference the, cre the borrower's credit rating and the table array in range A15 through C18. Include the range lookup argument to ensure an exact match. So what we want to do, a lookup function allows us to look up any values in this table based on the word excellent, good, fair, or poor. So whatever the user's credit rating is, if it's excellent, we want that value to come down into this table and find the word excellent and then re either read the second column or the third column of this table and bring that value back into F4. So all of our formulas start off with equals. 
equals, oh look, I even give you a hint as to what the formula to put in there, so hopefully that helps in addition to this video. Equals VLOOKUP, tab. Then I click on C7 because I want to look up whatever that word is, comma. Then I want to highlight the table array, excellent through that. The third column, because that's the annual percentage rate based on credit rating. So that is the third column. And then false, because I want an exact match. I want to find the exact word excellent in this grid. In cell F5, insert a VLOOKUP function that uses the credit rating to determine the minimum down payment based on the table array. So the down payment value is there and the cost of the vehicle is that. So if they're excellent, that means the down payment for this car needs to be 5% of that 35000 If it's good, we're going to want 10%, so we're going to need a little more money down. If they're fair, you need 15% down. If you have a poor credit rating, you got to have 20% down. So that's kind of what we're going to do here. So equals VLOOKUP. I want to look up this excellent word again in this table array. This time I want the second column. This is the first column, this is the second, that's the third. So the second, I'll put a two. And the range lookup should be false. And that in and of itself gives us a percentage, 0.05. It just happens to be formatted for dollars. But then I want to take that formula and come up here and put a multiply sign and then multiply that by the cost of the vehicle. So let's play with this just to look this up here. So excellent. What happens if it's good? I'll type in good. So now it's 10% of that and the credit rating, the APR of 3.5%. Fair. Fifteen percent down of thirty-five is fifty-two fifty. The interest rate gets a little worse, etc. So all that's working good. Let's move on to step ten. In cell F6, multiply the negotiated cost of the vehicle, that's this cell here, by the sales tax rate to determine the sales tax. In cell F6, enter that formula. So equals C4 times C10. All right. In cell F10, add the minimum down payment located in cell F5 with the additional down payment located in C5 to determine the total down payment. So that looks like equals F5 plus C5. In cell F11, enter a formula to determine the difference between the negotiated cost of the vehicle and the total down payment. So that's equals C4 minus F10. So that's the amount that we're going to finance. Let's go to step 13. All right, in cell F12, use the PMT function to determine the periodic loan payment. Format the results to appear as a positive number. You can do this by either putting a negative sign in front of the present value parameter or putting a negative sign in front of your entire PMT formula. I'm generally a kind of fan of that, but you never know. Either way works. I've got them both programmed in to work for this quiz. F12 equals the payment function, PMT, tab, the rate is 4.25%, at least for a fair credit rating. We'll change that back to excellent here before we turn it in. So that's the annual rate, but we want a monthly payment, so we have to divide that by the number of payments per year. So that's 12 over here. And then the number of periods in the loan, if we have five years at 12 months, that's five times 12 or 60. I'm not a fan of ever hard coding or typing in the number 60 here. I would much rather you point to the cells over here and do the math so that if those numbers change, your payment function still works. C11 times 
C12. And it looks like I asked you to put in a negative F11 here. So negative F11, which is the present value of the loan, what the loan's starting out at. And then close the parentheses and it's $458.61. If we change it back to an excellent credit rating, changes to 510. So your payment goes up, but we're, we put less amount down at the beginning, so that's why the payment went up. In cell F13, enter the formula to calculate the monthly sales tax based on the total sales tax and the number of payments. So that's equals F6, it's the sales tax, and then we can divide that by this times this. And we're going to put parentheses around that. And then finally in F14, enter formula to determine the total monthly payment by adding up the monthly payment in F12, and then the monthly sales tax in F13. So two ways you could do it. You could just say equals F12 plus F13. I'm generally a fan of using the sum function though, but both should work. So sum, highlight those two cells, close the parentheses, and all is good. Alright, step 16. Insert a footer with your name on the left side, the sheet name and center, and a file name code on the right side of the sheet. So come up here to page layout and then click on this little page setup icon and here we go header footer so I don't want anything in the header and I want a custom footer so left name put your name I don't check for what that is but I do check to see what you put here in the center section the sheet name in the center so as opposed to typing the word payment in here you should come up here and find the insert sheet name icon there. That way if somebody changes the name of the sheet it'll automatically change here in the center section. If you just type in the word payment up here it'll say payment forever no matter what the sheet name actually is. And then the file name here and hit OK. And then you should be able to submit that file for grading and let's hope we get a perfect score. Give it a name. You don't have to change the name but I do on my side. Let me grade it. Alright, and looking at the grading feedback, I didn't do everything right. So when you look at your grading feedback, it says I got 9.4 out of 10. And if you're happy with that, you can move on. But if you want a perfect score, you can come in here and look at the little red lines and click on the little down arrow and it'll tell you what you did wrong. Or you can click on the filter, incorrect only, and it will bring back the, just the items that were wrong. So if you open that up, it says uh, in cell A1, the horizontal alignment was not sent to set the center. So I didn't center that correctly. So let me go back to my file and I should have centered this and merged it. Merge and center. Alright, that should hopefully fix that piece. Then what else did I do? Apply the percent style with no decimal points in range B15 to B18 and then the percent style with two decimal points in C15 to C18. See, that's what I get for not paying attention. So these are percent with zero decimal places and these are percent with two decimal places. Another way to look at what's wrong with your sheet as opposed to clicking on these tools, you can click on the live comments report over here and it will open up the exact file that you submitted and if anything is wrong with any of the cells or the formulas, my lab will actually tell you what the problem is. So click on enable editing. Here's what you got points deducted for. You got nine cells commented in place. So please check the sheet. Okay. Check the payment sheet. And everything that had something wrong in it, you'll have a little red triangle in the upper right corner, which means there's a comment there. 
and if you hold your mouse over it, it will tell you what the problem is. It's the same feedback you got on the other page, but here's sometimes where you can get some additional hints as to how to fix it. So we've already fixed all these problems, so I'm going to move on, close that out, resubmit it, and hopefully get a perfect score. All right, at this point you'll probably see in your gradebook that you got a perfect 10 out of 10, but if you look at your score, here it is as well. All right, so that's it for quiz one. Thanks a lot, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.